can do it right now. So, Dad, uh, you just saw A Day at the Races by the Marx Brothers. What did you think of it? Well, what did I think of it? My goodness gracious. It was like I saw it for the first time, and it was so so wild, so funny. And, and uh, when I was a kid, I was in love with it. It really was. Any stand-up performances in it? Well, of course. I guess my... my uh, Sympathy or empathy went out for Harpo because he he had to just make motions all the time, and uh, but Groucho his jokes, I used to make jokes were sort of Groucho like insulting half insulting, and it became my sort of style which I don't know if I'm happy with it or not but he was a riot with it, mm -hmm. and then uh, and uh, and then the. Oh, I just laugh myself silly when I think about it, especially when I was with my uh, schoolmates. And uh, the one big thing, though, on a serious note, was the singer in it. He was such a nice-looking guy, curly hair, that gleam in his eye, and a beautiful girl. But his singing was so smooth and clear and everything. I never forgot that. And years, years later, when I was singing in choir and stuff, not that I imitated, but I could always appreciate that, that lyrical sound, that legato as we call it, and uh, to have him contrasted in there with the Marx Brothers, what, what a riot. And uh, just seeing part of the day at the races, uh, it just kills me, especially if I got somebody to enjoy it with and appreciate it. Now the one that was one of my old favorites too is for the same singer and the, and the guys, they were buttering up this rich old older woman, pompous woman, uh, to get money for the op to save the opera so the guy could sing in an opera show, and they did some beautiful scenes in that, and then at one point, they got the Marx Brothers climbing up and down the the screens on the stage and riding up and down and swinging, making it a circus. And it was pathetic, really, in the sense that, wow, what a, well, what a downer, you know? But it was so darn, darn funny. And uh, anyway, the Marx Brothers, they're, they're just glorious. They are really glorious. And I wish I knew more about their personal background, which I did find out a little bit one time, but I don't remember what it was. But they they were so fantastic, and Groucho I I love his love his comedy because it's always got that bit of insult in there, or craziness, or mm -hmm. wild use of words, <laughs> and uh, and of course when Harpo plays part is it Harpo plays the piano and the organ sometimes. He did such a masterful job. It was hard to believe that he could play so beautifully in a serious way and yet act so ridiculously funny. Yeah, boy, there's nothing like a room full of people watching this and getting the feel for it. And now with the cleaned up versions on film and whatever they do to them, they're, they're, they're a riot. And uh, the, the characters throughout, uh, it just, I just love it, really. Between that, Three Stooges, Three Stooges sort of fell in the same ballpark with them, so to mm -hmm. say. And then uh, there were a few other comedians at that time, forget who, I can't think right now, but but the, the Marx Brothers, of course, uh, they're just the name itself uh, tickles the hell out of me. <laughs>